How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we continue on our way to Key West. In the last video, we had made it all the way to Marathon, the halfway point. We still had 50 miles more to go. We had already had some lunch in our system, so we were ready to go on the last 50 miles to Key West. So here we go. take over for a little bit we're going about 40 miles an hour 44 miles left till we get to key west how are we doing captain we're doing good i'm, I'm graduating i'm going 40 miles an hour and i'm learning about what is what is the is depths the depths right. the chart plotters you know she was thinking we were going 42 but those are our rpms i told her no it's the speed is up here or you can look at it up here so we can go a lot faster because there's really no waves out here, but we're burning 1.5 and we ain't got no hurry. So we're riding nice and smooth. We already passed the seven mile bridge. We're coming up on the Bahia Honda bridge. It's one of the nicest bridges down here. And we're trucking on through nice and slow. Be there in about probably another 50 minutes or so. Bahia Honda State Park. That's the old bridge right there that you guys are seeing. US 1 current bridge is on the other side of it. It's a little bit of an update. We got only 30 miles to go. We're basically in the lower keys already. You see the little blimp up there that they used to measure the weather. Got a little bit of rain up off the coast but we're headed more this way towards key west you guys see here literally right here already so that's a little bit more probably another 35 minutes and we should be there we're passing this little rain cloud here bumped it up a little faster see if we can get by it without getting wet we're going this way, so hopefully the wind is bringing it this way. We're going south, it's kind of coming west. So we're gonna try to see if we can beat it. Go a little bit quicker. Nasty rainstorm. Can't even see through it. That's how thick it is. Guys, I can see the rain wall right there. We're probably like, you know, 500 yards, 600 yards tops from the rain cloud. But we're running this way to Key West and I sped up to 45. You can go a little faster if I wanted to, but I calculated on the radar how much faster I needed to go to get by it. And it looks like we're getting right by it. There was a boat that was there and now the clouds overtook the boat and I can't even see the boat anymore. I do got the indoor enclosure here so it keeps the water out, but if you can kind of avoid it, well, why not? Alrighty guys. We only got 11 miles to go, but that's our marina, but this is already basically Key West right there. You see the front, the port, I'm sorry. You also see the little beach. Over there where those buoys are, that's where the 90 miles to Cuba buoy is. We're basically gonna come around, gonna come around Key West and into our marina where we're staying. We were able to beat the rain, happy about that. Thank you. 
Guys, I just want to take a quick second to tell you how this has been a major bucket list item for me to do. I got this boat back in 2020, and ever since then, I've been wanting to come here to Key West, and the feeling that I have at this moment of finally making it in my boat is totally amazing, and I'm just so happy that I made it with my wife out here. All right, guys, we made it. We're here in Key West. We're coming in through the channel. My wife has no idea, but I'm taking her to dinner to that special private island, and she doesn't know we're gonna stay on a houseboat. So she's gonna be in for a surprise. She thinks we're staying at a marina right next to, you know, the boat, the hotel, but little does she know, we're gonna be staying in a houseboat. And not none of these little 1970 houseboats too. It's gonna be a decent one. I'm excited to see it. I've never stayed at a houseboat before, so it's gonna be my first time too. Now we gotta hang a left, babe. Alrighty, we're here. I just gotta figure out where we're gonna dock at. These are cute. You like these little houses? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Alrighty, so we figured it out. We're right here, straight ahead, so slide right in. Look, just so you know, look to the back. No joystick. Look, all right here. One front, one back. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. said 62, but, but they're not really well. Look at that. No joystick needed. So for y'all, that would be like, oh, yeah, because you got a joystick, whatever. He's yeah. an actual captain, guys, okay? The joystick is just easy, but he got it. Makes my life easier, but he got doesn't it. mean I need it. It said 62, I don't see a number, so I'm just gonna slide up over here. I think here's fine. Alrighty, we're checked in, we got our keys. Now let's tell the wife that it's gonna be instead of one of these apartments up here, which is what she probably thinks, that it's gonna be these houseboats. So I think I'm more excited than her. I'm gonna be more excited than her. Come on, baby, let's check it out. Alright babe, this is it. to the end of the dock, I'm gonna walk you off like a plank. Go. <laughs> what are we gonna do at the end of the dock? I'm gonna push you off. Oh wait, no, it says no swimming there. Let me see what's this in here. Okay, so. Ooh. This is cool, huh? This is so cute. <laughs> nice little kitchen here. Two queen beds, which we're only gonna use one, but. Oh my God, we're staying in the water? <laughs> Look, I got a view of the boat right there. Oh my, there's a boat here right next to us that has like little tables and chairs. Oh, is that another houseboat? I think so, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Does it move? Moving? Can we move? I'm trying, I'm bouncing up and down. Bro, this is moving. It's moving? You don't feel going no? like this? Am I tripping? I think you're tripping. I think this is moving. I, I think you're moving from the boat, from the motion of the boat. <laughs> Bro, this is so cute. Right? Oh my God. <laughs> Look out the window. We got a view. It's the ocean. Yep. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, I love this. All right, guys, we're going to get everything off the boat, get situated. I got to go get a golf cart. We got dinner, so we got to get to do what we got to do. So I'll catch up to you in a few minutes. All right, so I left the wife in the room. I should say the houseboat. And I'm walking about a quarter mile, a little eight-minute walk down to a golf place. Sorry, not a golf place, a golf cart rental place. I looked it up. 
make sure I found the one that was close by so it'll be on walking distance so we're heading that way now so we can have a way of getting around here in Key West when we're not on the boat since we didn't come driving this here's where they dock all these little tiki's Alright, a few minutes later, we made it here to Sunshine Scooters. Alright, we got our golf cart. Now we can get to dinner and to everywhere else we want to get to. Go back to the houseboat now. We're going to take a shower and get ready for dinner. Nice little clean golf cart. right over there. This is so cool leaving your houseboat and having your boat here. I didn't know which one it was so I slid all the way forward but later on before I go to sleep tonight I'm gonna slide it right in front so we literally come out of our houseboat and right into our boat. Baby did a good job coming all the way down here. No problems whatsoever. Alright guys, we're heading to dinner. Ready baby? Yes. You know where we're going? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Here's our ride. But it's probably somewhere good because you're the best at choosing good places. I do my research. You're a good captain and a good researcher. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just parked our... Oh, we left the turn signal. Boom. Lights stay on for about 15, 30 seconds, he says, and then they turn off automatically. All right, you ready, baby? You know, the last time we were here, I was pregnant with my son, Nicholas, and I didn't know it. So that was a while ago, because he turns five this year. Yep. Right? And the best part, we came on our boat. That's what, yep. that's what makes this whole thing much more special. Walking down the keys is awfully pretty quiet. I mean, it is pretty early still. Quietness. Right? <laughs> so, we just found out that we're going on a boat oh. for dinner. I hate when you do this to me. <laughs> Why? Because I thought we were going to an actual restaurant. I hate when we you are catch going me. on a restaurant. Yeah, but like in the water? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did ask them if I can come in my own boat and they said I couldn't. No? No. Because this is a private dock. Alright guys, for appetizer I got the lobster and crab. Crab cake. What did you get there? I got an onion soup. The dinner was so good that we kind of forgot to post it, but this was our dessert, the crème brûlée. The sun is starting to set. And get a nice picture there before we head back. I recommend the crème brûlée. Oh my god, delicious. The best one, right? <laughs> Salted caramel. That's right. Come here, try it, and then thank me. <laughs> <laughs> so the ferry comes every 30 minutes after we're done with dinner. So we came here to the little beach. Checking out all the sailboats going out to 
see a sunset. Oh, the boat's back, so time to head over to the dock. Now we gotta wait another 30 minutes. Which I don't mind chilling on that beach for another Everybody 30 minutes, right? Really. I was pretty chilling, man. Yeah. I, I would have fell asleep there. there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, this was actually packed with people. Let's just check the inside out. Nice. Let me see. Pretty cool. Got some Detroit. Detroit Diesels but down there. <laughs> We're walking back to our cart. We're gonna drive around the city. Try to get some dessert. <laughs> <laughs> More dessert? <laughs> hey. That was your crème brûlée, not mine. Uh, says the guy ha mm -hmm. that had like five bites. You force fed me. <laughs> yeah, you force fed me. Watch that I did, I just got him picking it up. <laughs> we came here to see the southernmost point of the United States. 90 miles that way is Cuba. Which one day I would like to go on my boat, but unfortunately, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, right, babe? Things don't seem to we might die. look like it's gonna change anytime soon over yep. there. But that's another thing on my bucket list that I would love to do. One thing about Key West, it is known for its nightlife. You always find something to do at night here. <laughs> the dog on the scooter. <laughs> So we made a quick stop here. Yeah, I get a nice little ice cream to end the night. Alright guys, so we're headed back to the houseboat. Call it a night. Tomorrow we want to take advantage of the day. Get up early. See everything there is to see. We had a great time at dinner. A little boat ride to the restaurant was awesome. The food was great. Ice cream to finish it off. Doesn't get better than that. Now uh, watch me me probably gonna watch a movie. Pirates of the Caribbean. And watching a series of Pirates of the Caribbean, so you probably watch that now in your room and call it a night. I can't see nothing. <laughs> we look good, but I can't see crap. I love it. You took a good ass picture with that. Right? Here. All right, guys, so we got back here to the houseboat. Made sure the boat was nice and secured, that everything's tied up nice and good. In this case, the tides change. Nice quiet night here in Key West. Here's our houseboat right here. Nice and calm and quiet out here. Alright guys, you already know. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.